Yo YouTubers, it's um, the 14th. It's the 14th of August 2020. It's 16.41 or 16.31, approximately half four in the afternoon. And it is roasting. My thing is saying 36 point on. We've got a, a thermometer on the roof and on the block, block flats and tells us the temperature. 36.2 degrees. We reached 40 yesterday. It's really hot. Um, I'm using my old camera, it's not digital, it's not like high def because I can edit it like because it's interesting, right? Interesting. Anyway, we've got it's it's 36 degrees, it's boiling. I've got we've got no air conditioning in this block. Um, I suppose I should open the door, make it a little bit cool. <laughs> I haven't even opened the door, we've got the noise. Because I'm in the middle of the bacon head. Because I'm in the middle of the bacon head. It's quite noisy when I open the door and, and, and you know, when the draft comes through like mad like, you know. But we've got no air conditioning in, the, in, the, in the, these flats, like these this block of flats. And this heat, it's going to be very bad, isn't it? You know, for all of us, like. <laughs> so what do you do? It's 36.2 degrees. What do you do? What do you do? Drum roll. The solution is this <laughs> I'm upside down you see so I can't wait here we go Pellenbacher Pellenbacher keg from Aldi a huge keg of amazing beer meat and everyone's reviewed you know everyone's raving about it online right Okay, let's get the camera back up. Everyone's raving on it online. You know, on the YouTube, everyone has tried it. They're all saying it's amazing. Like, you know, well, someone's reviewed it, and on the thread, everyone's like, amazing. Like, right. Now, I've got a story about Pelham back, I like. Um, the first time I tried Pelham back, which is available in, Al in Lidl, isn't it? You know, I mean, it's like, it's a Lidl regular. You can buy bottles of it, right? It's like four point something percent, four point four, isn't it, or something? And it's quite a nice beer, right? But I didn't discover it in Lidl, in England. It's the beauty about this camera; I can go as long as I want because it's um, it's no no limits to the recording time. But yeah, I, I didn't get it through Lidl in in the in the usual sense. I went to my first trip to Amsterdam. I'm going to share a clip. I'll put it up. I'll edit it with this. Um, because I can edit with this camera, you see, so I can share an old clip in the middle of the beer review, right? My first ever taste of Pellenbacher is actually recorded on camera because I was in Amsterdam and I was camping in Amsterdam, you know what I mean? I wasn't living in a hotel or anything like so. Different rules apply, I had a tent and that. And I, I, the local Lidl in, in Zeeberg in, in Amsterdam, it's called Zeeberg, the area where there's a campsite called Camp Seaberg, highly recommend it if you're ever thinking of going there, check it out. If you're thinking, you know, hotels, hostels, check out the campsite, Camp Seaberg. It's, it's brilliant, everything's there, you know, bar, everything, and you actually can camp in Amsterdam, you know what I mean, it's great. Prices are great, like. But anyway, while I was there, my local shop where I could get cheap food was little. There was a little, not far from Camp Seaberg, you know what I mean, and... I went in there and it was like, I'd be been there a couple of days or a few days and I bought a lot of weed and got stoned and I went there to do like a trial, you know, to see if I could find old school cannabis and it's all on film, but I didn't want to put on YouTube just yet because then people get the wrong idea of what my channel's about, you know what I mean? But anyway, I, I went into a uh, little and that's what, and the first time I'd ever seen it because I hadn't even been into a little in my life in Baconhead or, you know, in on the world, I'd never been into a little, do you get me? Like, so I didn't know what they had on the shelves, you know what I mean? And I see these bottles of beer called Pellenbacher, and it says, like, you know, German beer, whatever, and I thought, I'll try that, like, you know what I mean, in the tent, like. And I got back, and I drank it, like, in the tent, and I loved it, man. But I was thinking, um, you know, I got me, I captured the first swig of it, like, on camera, like, of Pellenbacher. It's a couple of years back, you know what I mean? I'm not sure what year was it. I went to Amsterdam. It was 2015, 20, not sure, 2016, 2015. But anyway... It's in the middle of November or whatever, so it's freezing in my tent and I 
But anyway, it was the first drink I actually had in Amsterdam, and then I went out and drank in like like Heineken in the bars or whatever. And both. Okay. It's a uh, sixteen twenty-four. Approximately twenty-five past four. Dutch time. On the fourteenth, Friday the fourteenth of November. I'm chilled out in my tent, and this is my first swig of beer. My first swig of beer since leaving England. Um, don't what the f Perlenbacher. Perlenbacher. Pills. Pills lager. Anyway, here it goes. I've just had a toke of Nepalese, and it's not like the finest quality weed, like I've got to say, flavour wise, and all that stuff, like. Must be all stale, mustn't it? I suppose. Well, it's the real deal, like. I've nearly. Oh yeah. I haven't explored though. I haven't gone into the um, into the never regions. But anyway, that's my first drink. Just had a pipe of Nepalese in my tent. I've got to work out. Post and everything back, like. Way for chances, isn't it? If it gets lost, it gets lost, no problem. Better than getting nicked, in it? Alright. Um, yeah, went to Club Media today. Good day, good walk. Fair walk, to be honest. But I wanted to get my sense of direction correct and everything. I'm starting to get a sort of the plan of, the, of the, the whole place in my head now, and the trams and everything. Yeah, I uh, went to coffee shop as well today. I didn't go in. I just filmed this all, you know, for the for the movie life, <laughs> for the film. <laughs> um, yeah, so far my favourite. I've only been that smoked in one coffee shop. Smoked in one. That was uh, the old Amsterdam, and it was brilliant. It was a real banal experience. But yeah, anyway, so uh, can't not much else to do in Amsterdam. You know what I mean? I'm not going for the prozies, mate. Oh well, um, bottoms up. I've done some lot, a lot of walking, and you know, instead of getting trams and cycling, and I've been walking, walking, walking. And I've got a good idea of which way to go now whenever I need anything. Already I'm sorted. Cheap noodles, underpants, socks, trainees, uh, what they called, jogging pants, that kind of stuff. Brilliant. Might go for the drink later. I hope not. But, you know, I don't really have to. Like, but wait till I'm going home and stuff it. You know what I mean? But drinking a bottle of Pelham back in my tent, I was like really buzzing off it. You know, the taste and everything. Like, it's thinking, wow, this like the Dutch beer is like amazing. Like, you know, it was a German or Austrian beer, but it was in Holland where I was drinking and thinking. And then anyway, I loved it like, and I thought to myself, that's a lovely beer. I actually loved it like, you know what I mean? Not because just because it was in Amsterdam, I, I, I thought it was a nice beer. Then I get back to England and go to a, a little. I find out they sell it as a, like a rule on the shelves. You can buy it any time in the bottles, like the green bottles. And I've tried it in England. It's exactly the same as it is in Amsterdam, do you know what I mean? It's exactly the same. It's a nice drink for the money, you get me right. So, that's the history. I'll put the clip up anyway at some point in the speech. I'll go pew. Throw it in so you see the actual clip of me drinking my first swig of Palomar. Which comes to this day in the future, like we're in a heat wave, it's unbearable, the world's dying, we'll all go through end times, <laughs> what do you turn to? I'm going to have a drink. Um, this Palomar, like keg, which is, um, what's the percentage? Ah! Oh! Ah! Where's my magnifying glass? It's a German exclusive, this isn't it? It's a limited edition. They don't sell this in England as a rule. It's a German exclusive, you know what I mean? So it's like a little treat, isn't it? Like for us, you know, Brits, like to to be able to buy these kegs. And it's been in the fridge all night, chilled. So it's beer, fresh, fruity taste. It doesn't say pills or anything, does it? it? Doesn't say like doesn't say anything, man. You know what I mean? And um, there's no description, like. Right? Now where's the percentage? 4.9, 4.9 percent. So it's just under the Heineken mark, isn't it? Right, and then 
Yeah, as is pointed out, the, the Great British this description of the ingredients contains barley. And I am consumed within eight hours. I mean, there's no chance I'm going to be able to do that unless I'm really on a roll, you know what I mean? I'm not going to be able to do that, like. Um, so it's 4.9%, right? And you don't normally get this in little, do you? It's not going to be there for long, right? So what we're going to do is open it up, crack it open while it's still chilled. I'm going to have to take a shelf out of my fridge so I can put it back in the fridge and keep it chilled. Let's do that now. Great idea. My fridge is absolutely freezing because I've been closing it properly and oh man, I'm chilling here. It's like, like properly right? Okay, so let's get the camera down, let's open it up on camera and let's see. I can't really see the screen, you see, because, um, you know. <laughs> right, now what you do is you open this thing at the top first, don't you? That's what you do. So you say, you pull it up. I can't read it. It says 10. So I've got to lift it up, right, and then you just turn it, direction, turn it, just direction, any direction, okay, whoa, a little bit of a squirt there mate, a little bit of a squirt, right, Let's just dry that with a cloth. I know it's a bit of a seems a bit of a waste of a, a swig. I don't want to spoil the uh, taste, flavour, the, the reviews of this. People just thought they were blown away by it, like so. I don't know. Like I do like the, the original, you know, the one with the sell. It's in nice in the cans as well. You know what I mean? Okay, and then we need to get it over here on the edge, right? Um, Don't look at me, horrible, smelly shorts. <laughs> and then you just pull this tap out, apparently. What you do here, mate? Let's show what you do. Pull out. <coughs> ah, right. Okay. So, the tap is out, the tap is out now, let's get a glass. Let's use the bushies. Nah, it's got to be a glass hasn't it? It's got to be a glass. It'll be a glass, not a plastic beaker. Okay, let's see if it pours. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Don't we? Uh... Alright, so, what do you do? You turn it like this and you go. Ah, it's, it's open. Wow. Settle bit. Bit of a head. Bit of a head. I suppose I should have angled my glass a bit more. Looks good. Smells good. Smells like a fresh lager, you know, like a typical fresh lager. Let's settle down a bit. Settle down quite quickly. Very strange these taps aren't they? <clears throat> Settling down. 
Don't want to pour a whole pint, you see, it'll just like, you know. Yeah, this camera, I don't want to rush. No rush. <laughs> There's no rush. There's no rush. Huge head on it, nice foamy white. Foamy white. Foam home. Let's go again, eh? It's silly because you can't get to the. You can't actually turn the handle while you're holding the glass there, you know what I mean? Unless you hold it like quite far. Or. Oh, you both ways, eh? Woo! Turn both ways, I think. <laughs> That's nice, though. Looks lovely colour, isn't it? Lovely golden colour. Right. I think we've definitely poured enough. Let's get the uh, let's go for the taste. Here's the cum shot, the cum shot. <laughs> nice. Looks really nice. Looks very yellow, golden yellow. Lovely. Wow, it's nice. Them bubbles, man. Not as good as my high def camera, this is it, right, boy? Let's go. Mmm. It's just like a bit, it's like a pint of lager in a pub, like a quality beer in a pub. It's very close to, oh, look at the speed of them bubbles, man. I don't even see on that camera, it's like, it's like really slow and it's lovely blue, that, mate. It's like looking at a blob lamp, you know what I mean? It's really enjoyable. <laughs> I'm using the right glass, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> like a Stein, I'm using a Kruzovich. Don't know if anyone's tried that beer, Kruzovich, Czechoslovakian beer. I bought it in a pub, it's nice. Don't even buy it in cans or anything. Anyway, this is all I'm on. Oh man, in this weather, in this heat. Mmm. Whoa. I'll chop the glass up a little bit more. Do you get the text off a little bit? See, I had to actually politely think, yeah, I don't know, it's going well, you know what I mean? For comedy, like, it's like, not a problem, is it? Yeah, it looks great, that one. Like I say, it's not, yeah, you can just see the bubbles. Like a slow march, like a procession, like, the bubbles rising up slowly. It looks good, it tastes good. It is a log of oats. Dream that one, like, it really is a nice beer. Like, but I'd say, you know, the Pelham Backer in the bottles in, in Lidl as a rule, it's like, like, it's always been nice, you know, what I mean, as far as I'm concerned. This tastes very much similar, it's got that wheaty flavour, lovely, mmm, fresh barley, whatever it is, like wheat, whatever it's wheat, isn't it? Is it wheat? Like golden fields of wheat. <laughs> it's not like a wheat beer, is it? Like, I don't know. I actually don't like to say I'm a complete amateur, like, but. 
when it comes to my reaction to flavour, I really that's what it's about, really. And that looks lovely, that looks appetising. And I sat down in the pub and that was on the table. <sighs> Be very happy. It's great down there, I've got to say. Top marks of Pelham back away. Um, 4.9 percent. Hmm. 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 Oh yeah, I like that. That's really refreshing, that one. And it's smooth and everything. It's like just go down trees. And it's a real lager like it's got a nice oh, like wholesome <laughs> like a wholesome after effect, you know what I mean? The whole thing's like nice. Like a real lager lager that way. Lovely. Is it German or or Austrian? I thought it was Austrian like. Let's see. It's like canned in Germany. It's a great Britain thing. <clears throat> it says like consume within eight hours. <laughs> yeah, right, man. <sighs> With a gang, like, yeah, no props. Yeah, it's delicious that though. That's fine. It's like, whoa. Man, too much beer, isn't it? But you know. Mm. Mm. Nice. Gosh. In this weather, mate. It's a bit beautiful, like, you know what I mean? My fridge, I usually leave it open slightly because it's faulty, right? If it's got food in it, it'll freeze anything in there. If there's mushrooms in there, eggs or um, bean sprouts is the worst. You don't want to put bean sprouts in my, in my fridge. Um, the, and, I, and I close the door. The fridge is faulty, so it freezes everything. But it doesn't freeze the beer. It keeps the, the beer stays like unfrozen, but it's chilled to the max. And I've just sussed it out, closing the door, and not putting food in there. You know what I mean? It's the ultimate beer fridge. You know what I mean? It's like wow, especially with this thing on keg. So, on oh, keg. See, we've got the room in there now. Yeah, on me. Let's put it in there, man. Be careful, lad. Be <laughs> careful, man. This is like the ultimate, this one. Man. Okay. So there you go. Man, on our strength as a lager drinker, as a lager drinker, I give that a 10 out of 10. I love it. It's beautiful, it's perfect. 10 out of 10, nice one, Pelham back for that one, like. But yeah, I'll mix this with a clip from Amsterdam, you know what I mean? I can't gulp it down, I don't want to get like, like, but it does show potential of like getting me proper wellied. And I feel great, like. But yeah, alright. Let's just do a closing shot of the ideal world. There you go. You can see it proper there, man, with the light behind it. Ten out of ten. A ten out of ten. And there you go, man. A 
that's the one, mate. Pellenbacher. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Later. Hold on.